Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams, and in this video we're going to learn about the normal distribution and finding the area from values. Alright, so we have a standard normal distribution. The normal distribution with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1 will give you all your z-scores. Um, so how do we find the area to the left? So you draw your normal distribution with the horizontal axis labeled and scaled using the mean and the standard deviation. The boundary value or values will be clearly identified and the area of interest will be shaded. Step two, you're going to perform your calculations and show your work. Um, do one of the following. So you can standardize each boundary value and then use table A or you can use technology to find the desired area under the standard normal curve. To use technology to find the desired area uh, without standardizing, label the inputs you use in the applet or calculator. And then be sure to answer the question that was asked. So when trying to find the area to the right um, using the z-score method or table A, well, table A only gives you the area to the left. So you will need to um, take the area and subtract it from 1 to get the area on the right side. All righty. Um, finding the area to the left in a normal distribution. Machines that fill bags with powdered sugar, also known as confectioner sugar, are supposed to dispense exactly 32 ounces into each bag. The amount of sugar dispensed in the bags from one manufacturer follows an approximately normal distribution with a mean of 32 ounces and a standard deviation of 0.6 ounces about what percent of the bags will contain less than 31 ounces of sugar. All right, so I'm going to start by drawing my normal distribution. It's a normal distribution with a mean of 32 ounces and a standard deviation of 0 0.6. So 32 goes in the center. I'm going to go three standard deviations above, three standard deviations below. Um, I wanted to go to 31. Well, I know 31 is going to be below, so I went um, two standard deviations below so that I could get an idea of where 31 would be. Um, and then they wanted less than 31 ounces, so I'm shading below it, everything to the left. I'm going to go ahead and find the z-score. So z is equal to 31, my value, minus 32, the mean, divided by 0.6, the standard deviation. Gives me a z-score of negative 1.67. So if I was using table A, I would look for negative 1 on the left column and 0.6 or negative 1.6 in the left column and 0 0.07 on the top, and then I would come together to find that area or that probability. If I'm using the calculator, I'm going to do a normal CDF. My lower bound is going to be negative 99999. It's really going to negative infinity. Um, my upper bound is going to be 31, my mean 32, and my standard deviation 0 0.6, which gives me 0 0.0478 or about 48% or 4.8 percent of the bags contain less than 31 ounces of sugar. All right, let me show you what this looks like in the calculator. All right, so doing this step in the calculator, we're going to go to second VARS, which is our distribution menu, and we're going to go to normal CDF. It's going to ask for lower bound, upper bound, mean, standard deviation. I could leave my lower bound as negative 1 e to the 99. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put negative 99999. My upper bound is 31. My mean is 32. And my standard deviation is 0.6. Paste. Enter. And we get our answer 0.0478. Right, finding the area to the right in a normal distribution. In 2007, Roger Ferderer won the Wimbledon Championship. This was a record-setting eighth Wimbledon victory for Ferderer, and he also became the oldest man to win the Wimbledon championship. During this tournament, Ferderer's first serve speeds averaged 115 miles per hour. Assume that the distribution of first serve speeds is approximately normal with a standard deviation of 4 miles per hour. About what percent of Ferderer's first serves were at least 125 miles per hour? All right. So I'm going to draw my normal distribution. It has a mean of 115, a standard deviation of 4. Um, we are going to 125, so that's above, um, more than two standard deviations above, and I want at least that. So 
that value or more. All right, so I'm going to find the z-score that corresponds with that. If my value is 125 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation gives me 2.5. So I could go on my on table A and I could find 2.5 on the left side, 0 .00, 0 on the top, and max them up and find the, that would give me the area to the left. I would have to subtract that from 1 to find the area on the right. Um, if I use the calculator, I'm doing a normal CDF. My lower bound this time would be 120, or yeah, 125. Um, my upper bound would be 9999. My, this shouldn't be a point here, just 125. Um, my mean should be 115 and my standard deviation 4. All right, when I put that in, I get 0 0.0062. So about 0.62% of Ferdera's first serves are faster than 125 miles per hour. So we're going to go to second VARS, which is our distribution menu, normal CDF, which is the second option down. My lower bound is 125. My upper bound is positive infinity. So I'm going to put a bunch of nines, positive. 115 is my mean, and 4 is my standard deviation. I hit paste and enter, and I get my answer finding the area between two values in a normal distribution. So my machines that fill bags with powdered sugar, also called confectioner sugar, are supposed to dispense exactly 32 ounces. We know that we dealt with this problem before and the standard deviation was 0.6. About what proportion of bags contain 31 to 33 ounces of sugar? So here's my normal distribution. 32 is in the center, so we're between 31 and 33, and I want that area in between. I want to find what percent is shaded. All right, normal CDF. This time my lower bound is going to be 31. My upper bound is going to be 33. My mean is 32, and my standard deviation is 0. 0.6, and we get 0. 0.9044. If you were going to use the table method, you have to find the z-score for both 31 and 33, find the area to the left of those, and then subtract those areas from each other. All right, so about 90.5% of the bags from this manufacturer will contain 31 to 33 ounces of sugar. All right, go Seahawks.